kafin ku ji abin da muke tafi da su hawo ba mukanin labarai to sarfi nu jerin har har yakan akwatin nan zabe a sassa amurka na kara kamin matsalan bar da jami'an jihar da na kananan hukumomi ke fuskanta a yayin da ake gab da shiga kakar yanayin tafiye tafiyen jama'a India burgar bara zanar tashin bomb na karuwa a kasar a ranar litinin ne sakatare da nan na majalisa dinkin duniya Antonio Guterres ya yi kiran da a hanzarta yin mai yuwa domin gani an kawo karshen yakin ba sassar da aka shafe watanni 18 ana yi a Sudan to kanan labaran kenan aka saurara to yayin da babban zaben Amurka ke kara kutowa a yau za mu je da tsarin siyasar Amurka ta wato tsarin siyasar yanda Amurka take idan kuma muka leka arewacin Najeriya kuwa mun ge ma wasu masana'antu ta ce rashin samun wutar lantarki ya janyo an tafka asara asara da aka yi ta rashin aikin yi na yau da gobe da wanda kamfanin ka su kai da yan kasuwa za a iya tashi da kusan naira biliyan 200 zuwa biliyan 500 a dan wani tsakanin to Allah ya kyauta sai a biyo mu cikin shirin domin ji cikin kwar rahoton nan kamar kowace safiyar talata muna dauke da shirin tsaka mai wuya wanda a yau zai kawo cigaban muhawara kan zaben Amurka na mako mai zuwa wanda Aliyu Mustafa Sakko ta shirya kuma zai gabatar amma yanzu a gyara zama domin sauraron kashi na farko na labaran duniya jama'a assalamu alaikum ga labaran mai karantawa Hawwa Sharif Jerin har har yakan akwatin nan zabe a sassan Amurka na kara kaiman matsalan bar da jami'an jihar da na kananan hukumomi ke fuskanta dake fatar sa ido domin ganin an gudanar da zaben shugaban kasar dake ta falame lafiya da ma masu ka da gurin su a farko farko a yawan sassan kasar da kuma yin da wato da kuma yayin da miliyoyin Amurkawa za su fita rumfunan zabe a mako mai zuwa idan Allah ya kai mu Jihar Washington dake arewa maso yamma na Amurka ta tabbatarwa da murya Amurka a ranar litinin din nan cewa yan sanda a jihar da hukumar binciken laifuffuka ta FBI na gudanar da bincike kan rahotannin da aka samu na wata na'ura da aka dana a akwatin nan tattara kuru'u a Vancouver ta Washington a farkon je litinin jami'ai sun ce ba wanda ya jikata to sai dai wasu daga cikin akwatin nan tattara kuru'un sun lalace faifan bidiyon da jami'an yankin suka samar ya nuna yadda yan kwana kwana suka rika kokawar kashe wuta a wurin aka kuma ga yadda akwatin nan kuri'ar suka rika ci da wuta a kasa ayayin da ake gab da shiga kakar yanayin tafiye tafiyen jama'a a kasar India burgar bara zanar tashin bomb na karuwa a kasar inda aka samu har sama da 400 da ya haifa da damuwa ga masu tafiye tafiye a ciki da wajen kasar a makonni biyu da suka wuce da ya kai ga kamfanin jiragen sama kasar tsaye da wasu jiragen a cikin kasa da soya ma wasu akala da ya janyo asarar makudan kudi wasu jiragen da suka tashi sun samu rakiyar kananan jiragen yaki sakamakon irin furgicin da kuma bara zanar da ta haifar da je matsaloli ga matafiya da kuma ma'aikatar sufurin jiragen saman kasar cewar mahukunta an dai kara tsaurar matakan tsaro a mafi yawancin filayen jiragen sama jim kadan bayan samun bulla barazana da a cikin mako na biyu na watan oktoba anan take dai hukumomin bincike suka shiga aikin su domin gano inda barazana ta samu asali karaman ministan harkokin jiragen sama na kasar ta India Mardila Mohal ya sheda mane mala labare a kasar cewa yawancin bama baman da aka rika burgar jama'a da su sun samu asali ne daga wajen kasar a ranar litinin ne sakatare janar na majalisar dinkin duniya Antonio Guterres ya kira da a hanzar ta yin mai yuwa domin ganin an kawo karshen yakin ba sassar da aka shafa watanni 18 ana yi a Sudan inda miliyoyin mutane ke fuskanta matsalar rashin abinci aka kuma daidaita su da raba su da gidajen su Guterres ya ce wa hala karuwa take a kullun rana ta Allah a yayin da yake nuna matukar damuwa game da halin da ake ciki a yankin Alfasha na arewacin Darfur inda yaki ya ci gaba da rinca baiwa tun a tsakiyar watan Afrilu Antonio Gutara ya ce ya furgita matuƙa da ci gaba da hare-hare da rundunar dakarun kata kwana na RSF ke kaiwa akan farahu la alfasha da yankunan da ke kewaye da ya hada har da wuraren da mutanen da aka daidaita suke inda aka tabbatar da samuwar fari yace haka kuma ana yace ya furgita da samun rahotanni irin hare-haren da wasu masu dauke da makamai dake da alaka da dakarun Sudan SAF ke kaiwa akan farahu la a Khartoum da ci gaba da jika ta furaren hular kwan har haran kan mai uwa da wabi da ake kaiwa a yankunan da ke shakara da mutane ana sauraron labaran ne daga nan sashen Hausa na Mariya Amurka a birnin Washington DC to na an jima kadan hawarar sake da da labaran duniya kashi na biyu kafin nan duk da yake an yi jami'in siyasa da dama a tarihin siyasar Amurka 
to amma tsarin jami'i bi kacal na Democratic da Republican shine yake ci gaba da yin kaka gida a tsarin siyasar ta Amurka ga dai abokin aiki binta Esero da wannan bayanin Zaban shugaban kasa na 2024 fafatawa ce mai zafi tsakanin yan takara biyu yan takarar da manyan jami'in biyu na Democrat da Republican suka tsayar wadanda kuma tabbas daya daga cikin su ne zai samu mukamin shugaban kasa na gaba kamar yadda aka samu dukkan shugaban kasa tun daga shekarar 1856 Mama ya war tsarin jami'in biyu na iya zama kamar abin mamaki kundin tsarin mulkin Amurka bai ce komai ba game da jami'in siyasa kuma George Washington kansa shugaban kasa na farko kuma tilo da aka zaba ba tare da wakiltar wata jami'in siyasa ba yayi gargadi a kansu a jawabin sa na bankwana amma tun kafin Washington ya bar office bangarori biyu sun kawo farki a cikin gwamnatin sa wadanda za su iya zama jami'in siyasa na farko a kasar tun daga wannan lokacin jami'in suka rabu ko su wargaje tare da kafa sababbi don mai gurbin su amma irin wannan cece ku can galibi sukan daidaita ya zuwa saban tsarin jami'i biyu babban dalilin wannan tsari shine an shimfi da tsarin zaben Amurka bisa ta farkin duk wanda yayi nasara shi zai lashe kuri'u baki daya inda masu kada kuri'a za su dauki zabi daya kawai kuma dan takara daya tilo da yafi yawan kuri'u shi ya lashe zabi duk da yake wannan tsarin yana da sauki yana kuma karfafa bangarori daban-daban su dunkule zuwa jami'a daya don samun damar kada abokan hamayar su wadanda ba shakka su ma hakan za su yi a bangare daya kasashen da ke da zabe tare da jami'u da yawa suna da rabon wakilci inda kowace jami'a za ta samu wani kaso na kujerun majalisar dokoki wanda ya daidai da nasu na kuri'u sauran tsare tsare sun hada da zabi ko zagayen zabe da yawa wadanda ke ba masu jefa kuri'a damar bayyana abubuwan da suka fi so tare da sanin cewa za su iya canza kuri'un su zuwa wani dan takara mafi cancanta idan akwai bukata duk da haka hatta zabukan jami'u da yawa kan haifar da kawancen masu sassautin ra'ayi ko wani ɗan mazanjiya ko ɗan tsakatsaki a wasu hanyoyi tsarin jami'i biyu ina nuna yanayin fa'idar siyasa ne kawai ya zuwa yanzu babu wani ɗan takara na jami'u ta uku a Amurka da ya taba zama shugaban kasa sau da yawa ana zargin ɗan takara na uku da yin aiki a matsayin ɗan batar ruwa ta hanyar karkatar da kuri'un da za su iya samu daga babban ɗan takarar jami'ar da ake ganin ya fi kusa da matsayin su a akida har yanzu yayin da masu jefa kuri'a ke ƙara samun rashin gamsuwa da zabin da suke da shi a zaben 2024 an sake gabatar da sabbin kiraye kiraye na sake fasalin zabe da goyen baya ga ɗan takara na uku kamar Cornel West da Robert F Kennedy Jr. Yayin da ake hasashen zaben 2024 ya kasance fafatawa tsakanin manyan ɗan takara biyu a kwayewar ɗan takara na uku za su yi tasiri ko da yake watakila ba ta yadda masu jefa kuri'a za su yi fata ba To a gaida binta Esero har yanzu da kuna tare da sashen Hausa na Murya Amurka daga nan birnin Washington DC yanzu dai ga hawa tare da kashi na biyu na labaran duniya a cikin watan nuwamba wannan shekarar ne ake tsaran wato ta kaddama shari'ar kujerar sarkin Gondu da sarkin na Gondu na goma sha tara Mustafa Haruna Jakolo ya shigar kotun kuli ta kawo ƙarshe wannan na zuwa ne lokacin da kotun dauka ka ƙara mai zama a Sokoto ta sake baya da umarnin mayar da sarkin kan karagar mulki tare da biyan shi dukan hakokin sa daga Sokoton ga Muhammad Nasir da cikakken rahoto to a shekara ta 2025 ne aka fara wannan shari'a a babbar kotu dake birnin KB wadda ta yake hukumcin cewa ba a bi ka'ida ba wajen tube sarkin Gondona 19 Al Mustafa Haruna Jakolo kotun ta yake hukumcin cewa a mayar da sarki Mustafa Jakolo akan karagar mulki sannan kuma a biya shi dukan hakokin sa to sai dai a wancan lokacin gwamnatin jihar KB ta dauka ƙara zuwa wasu kotuna har guda uku wadannan duka suka bai wa Jakolo nasara daga bisani aka sake dauka ka ƙarar zuwa kotun koli wadda bisa wasu da lallai ta sake mayar da ƙarar a kotun dauka ƙara mai zaman ta a Sokoto wanda kuma ta sake tabbatar da hukumcin ta na farko wanda kuma shine tabbatar da hukumcin da babbar kotun birnin Kebi ta yi Mustafa PC on Yonabi shine lawan sarki na 19 Al Mustafa Haruna Jakolo I am not surprised because this is the third time and particularly the second time in this very court 
that you are willing ya ce bai mamaki ba da hukumcin na kotun domin sau uku kuma so biyu a wannan kotun ta dauka kara suna samun wannan galaba lawan gwamnatin jihar kebi ya ke magana da manema labarai a cikin harabar kotun akan haka na tuttube masarautar gwandu sai da dukkanan da na yi wasa katarin bai dauka ba kuma na aika da sako hu ba a mara da jawabi ba na kuma tuttube mai bayawa gwamnatin jihar kebi shawara akan harkokin sadarwa da tsare tsare wanda ya ce ba horumin sa bane yayi magana akan wannan batun na kuma kira wayar babban lawan gwamnatin jihar kebi ba dauka ba kuma aika da sako kuma kawo zuwa hada wannan rahoton ba samu amsar sakon ba Aminu Mayana na hannun daman sarkin Gwandu na 19 Haruna Jakolo ya yi godiya ga Allah akan wannan galaba da suka samu har sau uku yanzu dai ko tu dai ta tabbatar muna da nasaran na hukuncin da shi Justice Abbas yace na Federal High Court abin ne kabi shi ne Court of Appeal ta kara jaddadawa da cewa shi His Royal Highness Al Mustafa Haruna Jakolo sarkin Gwandu na 19 ba a hitar da shi bisa ga ka'ida ba kuma an zalunce shi so a gaggauta mai da shi bisa ku jera shi ta sarauta kuma a biya shi hakokan shi yanzu dai da wannan hukumcin na kotun dauka kara mai zama a Sokoto Karo na biyu kotun kole ce kawai ta saura ta yana ta hukumci akan wannan karar and the murder of all appeals is now coming up on the 25th day of November which is bad law yan sarki na 19 al mustafa haruna jakolo ya ce kotun koli ita ce rabu gardama kuma za ta zarta da nato hukunci rana 25 ga watan nuwamba na wannan shekara saboda haka yanzu a yace wa kallo ya koma kan kotun kolin nan da wata daya mai zuwa muhammad nasir muryar amurka daga sokoto a nigeria to a gaida muhammad nasir to madalla kuma da la kungiyar masu masana'antu ta Najeriya ta ce jahar Kano kawai mambobinta sun yi asara fiye da naira biliyan 200 a cikin kasa da kwana goma da yankin arewacin Najeriya kasance babu talantarki daga Kano Muhammad Ibrahim Kwari na dauke da karin bayani a wannan rahoton yanzu dai kimanin makoni bi kenan babu hasken wutar lantarki a daukacin yankin na arewacin Najeriya birni da karkara da farko dai kamfanin samar da lantarki na kasar wato TCN ya ce bai iya gano musababbin wannan matsala ba amma daga bisani mahukuntan kamfanin sun ce wasu yan ta'adda ne suka lalata layukan da ke kawo lantarkin zuwa arewa daga yankin kudancin kasar a tsakiyar wasu dazuka na jihar Benway yanzu ka dai manya da kananan yan kasuwa musamman masu masana'antu a dukkanin jihohin arewa na Najeriya na ci gaba da kirga asara da kuma dakatar da ma'aikata saboda rashin lantarki Alaji Sanu Hussein Burnun Kudu memba ne a committee koli na kungiyar masu masana'antu ta Najeriya wato MAN As har da aka yi ta rashin aikin yi na yau da gobe da wanda kamfanin ka suka yi da yan kasuwa za a iya tashi da kusan naira biliyan 200 zuwa biliyan 500 dan wani tsakanin ta tabbata idan an ci gaba da haka nan da wata daya to magana aiki yi na za ya sara ta sama da trillion daya sai dai mace mukin shugaban majalisar dattawan Najeriya Senator Baro Jibril ya ce shugabancin majalisar na aiki tare da fadar shugaban Najeriya ta hannun mai fayo shugaban kasa shawara kan al'amuran tsaro domin magance wannan kalubali abin da ya faru saboda yan ta'adda wato irin masu kirarin cewar suna tsaya kan addinin musulunci su suka je suka fasa wannan wato irin abin da ake ce ake cewa towa din nan wato turakun wuta cin daji ta inda ake dauko ta akalan arewa wannan abu ne mara dadi to amma tuni shugaban kasa ya ba da izini kan cewar abu a sha wannan matsala wanda shi malar nuwar bado NSA yake ta kokarin yanda zai bi dan yaro da wannan lamari sai an je da sojoji sai an je da shiri mai kyau abu ne wanda ya shafi tsaro to shi sai ake kafa kafa wajen yin bayanin ma abin da ake san ai akai amma ba wai matsala ba ce ta gyara matsala je ta gyara amma ba ita ce ba matsala ba ta yana za a je gun a yi gyaran tunda waje ne wanda zubutanan suka sansani a gun to wannan dai da ba mai so a fito ma ai fada abun ba tunda abu ne wanda ya shafi tsaro to amma dole ne tunda mutane suna san samu wato bayani akan abin da ke faruwa 
cikin ba yanzu ba masana harkokin tsaro ke an karar da mahukuntar Najeriya domin dakile ayyukan yan ta'adda da ke dazukan kasar yadda za a kawo nasara a harkokin tsaro da kuma yadda za a ka nasara a harkokin wutar lantarki lalle ai forest marshal wato jami'an tsaro masu kula da dazuzzuka da ake da su a fadin Najeriya kuma a mus training kala bi tin forest da tik forest wato daji mai sahara da daji mai kwazazzabu shine kuma lalle lalle za a iya maganar lifuffukan da suke faruwa a dazuzzukan Najeriya wato wutar lantarki za ta samu ba tare da yan ta'adda suna kawo mata cikas ba saboda lifuffukan da yake faruwa kashi saba inda biyar cikin dari a daji ake aikata su kuma in an gama ma dajin ake komawa ki taktib awal bala ki na nguda ti kim masa na di ki shalhi a kan harko kin salo a Nigeria Mahmoud Ibrahim kwa li buliyar Amerika tega kanu Nigeria tu agayda Mahmoud Ibrahim kwa li wana shirina zwa mkune tega na sasha hausa na mwari ya Amerika yanzuk a ugoma na chwa karepi eda mwinti ugoma sha shida yanzuk masai shirin saka maywea I'm here today with a message of hope for all Americans. I New York din in ka lura ma Trump ba zai iya ci New York din ba yau. Wanda jihar ta ce. Wanda ita kuma kamala in ka duba jihar ta ta California za ta iya kawo ta. What kind of country do we want to live in? That's before us right now. What kind of country do we want for our children and our grandchildren? A country of chaos, fate, fear and hate or a country of freedom, justice and compassion. This kind of ara ina ina ganin cewa zaben Trump zai kuma na alheri ga mubaki da muke nan da kuma tana Africa da duniya. With your vote in this election, I will end inflation. I will stop the invasion of criminals coming into our country. Jama'a barkan ku da wannan lokaci barkan mu da sadu mu da ku a wannan sabon shiri na tsakar mai wuya yanzu kwanaki bakwai kacar mako da ya rage ayi zaben shugaban kasa na Amurka kuma abun ya zama kusan kudda kudu inda ka duba yana da waka ce ga wanda zai ci wannan zabe tsakanin Donald Trump na jami'ar Republican da kuma Kamala Harris mataimake shugaban kasa ta yanzu kuma yar jami'ar Democrat yan takara guda biyu kowa na ce yana ci gaba da kamfan ko ina yau da safin nan kabal har da zai wani gaga rumun taro da zaki jin zai hada hancin mutane Dubai a nan Washington DC nan nan bayan ofishin mu ma a ci gaba da wannan kamfan ko kuma a ci gaba da wannan yaki neman zabe da take yi to abun tambaya shine shin waye zai ci wannan zabe da musamman a jihohin nan da ake kira swing states wato jihohin da ake kadda kadda ko kuma kudda kudda juna tsakanin wannan yan takara biyu Trump da kuma Kamala wa zai samu kuri'un mutane da ake kira tsararu sannan za a sake maimaita abin da ya faru a lokacin da aka yi zaben shekara 2016 lokacin da Hillary Clinton ta samu kuri'u mafi yawa amma kuma aka zo kuri'un jihohi ta rame ni nasara akan ta sannan tambaya ta kashe shine shin zaman Kamala Harris mace kuma bakar mace rabunta rabunta Air India amfani ne ko kuma lahani ne wannan na cikin abubuwan da zamu duba a cikin wannan shiri na yau wanda kashi na bi kenan na muhawarar da muka hada muku tsakanin yan Najeriya kuma yan Amurka masu jefa zabe a nan Amurka dai dan jami'ar Democrat wato shine Sufyan mai biyar Ali wanda ke nan Washington a jihar Maryland da kuma takwaran sa sani Sufyan Ali shi kuma dan jami'ar Republican wanda yake a birnin New York to ba tare da bata lokaci ba bismillah malamai ko su biru ruwa aka ce tun da aka fara election a nan Amurka wato a ganin wani shugaban kasa ya ji yayi campaign a wurin baka mai yanzu in gwa a Bronx a nan New York Trump ya zo New York a gani kuma wanda yake stronghold ne ne AOC da su shop shoma amma sai ga shi in kaga irin mutanen da suka zo wannan rally din a gani da bakaki da Spanish da Turawa da African to sai to bari in je wajen bari in je wajen su fiya mai biyar um idan muka auna mizanin irin maganganun da muke ji daga Kamala da wanda ke fituwa daga Trump kana jin wa yake gamsar da mutane da ga musu abin da suke so su ji game da matsalolin su tabbas Kamala je take gamsar da mutane da yake nan na biyu kuma ai dadin dadawa Trump ai dan New York ne kamar yadda takwara na yi magana ai New York din in ka lura ma Trump ba zai iya ci New York din ba a yau wanda jihar ta ce wanda ita kuma Kamala in ka duba jihar ta ta California za ta iya kawo ta wannan yana nuna maka ta gidan sa ma bai yadda da shi ba da kuma manufofin sa sannan gaskiya yana katobara da yawa 
bari mu baka misali ka ga yanzu maganar da yayi a harkar wajen campaign da yake nuna shi constitution din kasar nan ma bai yadda da shi ba ka ga wannan ba karamar ka to baraba ce ba ka ringa nuna kai tsarin mulki ma na dokar da yayi kafa kasar ya magana da yayi na cewa wasu mutane a michigan suna cin karnuka da menene da menene so ka ga wannan ma karnuka da da maguna da ka ga wannan ma ita ma babbar ka to baraki da yake ka kawo wannan bari in tambaye ka akwai akwai abin da ake kira swing states wato jihohin da ba tabbas cin abin da zai faru kamar su Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Georgia, Wisconsin, Michigan, uh, Arizona, Nevada da Saurashi idan wannan jihohin kamar guda 7 din nan kana yi kinin cewa za ku kwashi a kallon yanda ku kwashi su duka ba za ku kwashi mafi yawan su to kaga da alkalma suna nuna cewa akwai jihohi kamar Michigan, North Carolina, Georgia da Arizona wanda shi Trump zai iya ci to amma yanzu alkalman sun juya suna nuna cewa ita kamala harin za ta ci Pennsylvania ta ci Nevada ta ci Wisconsin har ma ta iya cin Georgia da ta iya cin sorry Michigan wanda wanda in ka duba alkalman electoral vote a yanzu da suke nunawa kamala tana da uh, electoral 226 wali shi Trump yana da alkalma 219 to amma idan ka duba ana bukatan 270 ne ka ci ka ci zaben na electoral vote eh hey. to so idan idan har kamala ta iya samun wannan swing state din Wisconsin, Nevada, Pennsylvania da Michigan to 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 za ta wuce wannan 270 din a uh, Sofiya ne sani a uh, New York kana jin abin da Sofiya ne mai biyar yake fada kana jin za ku rasa wannan jihohin guda bakwai da muka ambata Pennsylvania, Michigan, North Carolina, Sauransu, Georgia don samanin za su yi dauka wannan kasashen banka suka ka duba su irin Donald Roland da suke wurin su wannan wannan bakin nan da yake wannan Republican su da irin su da ka gane ba samanin mu ma za mu mafaci ma irin kasashen ma su Republican su ma kamar wani kasashen kamar Democrat ma kamar jihohi jihohi ba kasashe ba jihohi jihohi ne yau kamar na Democrat ne to amma kamar wace jihar Democrat kake ji za ku yi kwaciwa Republican dewa wanda suna san Democrat I mean suna suna Democrat dewa suna kuma Republican da suke na New York a New York a New York ko da wannan Republican ba su cika cin New York ba fa ba su kace ba haka ne amma kuma ka san ita siyasa ba za ta yi predict din ta ba amma kuma ka san ga abin da yake kasa from the grassroots ga mutane from the grassroots nake maka magana saboda wannan lokacin kana zuwa wannan political analyst ne ce bi ba sa gane cewa abin da yake grassroots politics amma on the grassroots on the street of new york ka gane irin the black folks the spanish folks the turawa in kana ji suna magana they are democrat ni kana democrat ne da amma wasu abubuwa na tsaya ne duba na politics me yasa ka canja ka koma republican 2016 campaign in ka duba irin cnn msnbc and so many mainstream media kullum magana su kurin kamar kan trump 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 ne wannan abin sai mun kamar irin reverse psychology have to go back sai sai ka je kamar ba a masa adalci ba mai adalci ba saboda haka ka koma republicans so fox in na balancing din labaran kafin ce ne so daga baya kurin na tsaya ne da kurin sai na switching akala kuma da na bincike sai na ga cewa shi ma republican ba da farko ma so suka abolition din slavery ya bo ta ke nan ba irin ba ba ake suka koma democrat so mana sai su fa bari a gujeren tambaye ka wani abu na mun tana abun da ya faru a zaben hillary da shi trump din Right. Hillary ta fi shi samun zunzurutun kuri'un mutane masu yawa sai kuma ta zo shi ya zo ya kada ita a zaben nan na jiho na kuri'un jihohi wato electoral college me kake right. zanza kana jin za a maimaita abin da ya faru a wancan lokaci ko nan a wannan karon kawai fintikau mm. zai ma a kamala kawai ba ma wani cece ku ke wannan gaskiya zai iya faru because why irin kamar maganganu ne nake fanya yake faru da grassroots wajen mutane shi ne cewa a 2016 zaga Hillary tayi ta ci wannan zabe da kuri'u da majority vote ta gane na na kuri'un jama'a zunzurutu eh ta ci amma su kuma nan kuri'un wannan electoral vote din na jihohi ba na jihohi sai suka ba Trump da yillin da Americans ka fada kan shi nan cewa kamar mutanen America duk da cewa ana son democracy ba a zama to an shirya a samu irin woman president ba amma ce shugabar kasa ba ta zama shi gaban kasa ba sai ka ji akalan kurin aka ba wa Trump to sai kuma ke ganin cewa zai iya faruwa hakan nan muka samu ka duba muka yi la'amari mu zakari da 
Bagian laut dan pihak tak peris agaran nak agaran risk tu dah syarang wasa abu bua tu zahaga cewa Hillary tu dah cewa betul ya cewa pun dah sih tak cewa nang zade amat siapa abad tu bersuara dengan agaran kemat cewa Amerika they are not ready for nang female president saya akan bawa Trump tu umai kesan cewa this time orang akan umat pun zikir parwa. Malu supaya anak saya biar beri entah baik atau gugur. Zaman kemalam macam Arab entah bag Arab iba India. Ampani ni kau kuma illa ni agur entah. Eh ampani ni so sejauh mata. Tapi udah kaga wadah dah suka bag aje ag asalan dia orang sudah bete dah kau mohon dah suka minori. Tapi udah rasa sekarang kalau entah macam mana. Entah orang. 